Hello boys and girls, sorry about that. We're having some technical difficulties, but let's continue. Do you remember? My name is Teacher Gabriel, and today we will be learning all about letters and how to read. Our letter for today is letter T. Letter T says T. Letter T says T. This is letter T. Can you say the song after me? T says T. 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 Very good, boys and girls. Now, let's look at some words. We can read words by sounding out letters. We're going to read some words. I want you to look, listen, and repeat after me. Our first word for today is it. Do you hear the t sound in it? It. Say it, boys and girls. It. Very good. Our next word Sat. Can you say that after me? Sat. Do you hear the t sound in it? Great. Next word. Hat. Hat. Sound it out. Repeat after me. Hat. Do you hear the t sound at the end? Hat. Awesome, boys and girls. Our next word, hot. Hot. Say it after me, hot. Do you hear the t sound in it? Great. Net. Net. Repeat it, net. Awesome. And our last word, Ten. Ten. Repeat. Ten. Great. Now, let's look at some new words. These words are called irregular words. They are irregular words because you can, only some parts you can Direct, only some parts can be directly sounded out, while others you must look at and remember. Let's, let's go over these words. First word is today. Repeat after me, today. Our next irregular word for today, to. Two, the number two. I have two brothers. Repeat after me, two. Awesome. Next word, the or the. And our final word, talk. Talk. Okay. Let's use our word power and make some words of our own. Practice making words together. Our first teachers, I need your help. I need your help by distributing some letters to my students. The letters that we'll be using today are letters T, I, A, O, E, S, H, and N. Can you go ahead and distribute to students, please? At least three letters from the packet for each group. The letters, I'll repeat again, is letters T, I, A, O, E, S, H, and N. Great. So let's begin. Boys and girls, I want you to find these four letters for me from the pack. 
letter I. Find all your letter I's. Letter T. Find your letter T. Letter S. Find your letter S. And letter A. Find your letter A. These four letters are the letters that we'll be working with right now. The rest of your letters, you can place the one side. So remember, get your letter I, your letter T, your letter S, and your letter A. Let's use our word power and let's blend to make some words. The first example I'll be doing for you is I want you to find your letter I. Find your letter I, boys and girls. I. Okay, place that card right in front of you. The next letter we are going to look for is letter T. Letter T. All right, now let's put these two letters together. These two letters together, I and T. Let's blend them. Let's say the song. What song does letter I make? E. Awesome. E. And our letter for today? T. Very good. E. T. E. T. E. T. Says it. Awesome. It. We blended and we made that word. Now, it's your turn to blend. Let's blend these sounds together. Can you find your letter S? Can you find your letter S for me? Find your letter S. Find your letter A. Letter A. We want letter S. Letter A and the letter T, those three letters. All right, place them together. And that letter there, that word there, let's sound them out together. We have S, A, and T. S, A, and T. We want to sound these out blend them and make a word s a t s a t let's say it together s a t s a t do you hear the t is it at the beginning or at the end at the end s a Sat. Awesome. I hear some of you saying it loud and clear. Next one. Let's find our letter S again. Letter, sorry, let's find letter H. Can you find your letter H? Find your letter H. Letter H is this one. Find your letter H. Letter A, and then letter T. T, 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 our letter for today, extra special, letter T. Now, let's blend those words together, those letters together. H says H. A says A, ah. and our letter for today, T says, t. very good, boys and girls. Ha, a, t, ha, t, ha, t. What word is that? Hat. Wow, exciting. Very good, boys and girls. 
our next letter now. We want to change our A in the middle to an O. So find your O and switch letter A with O. We're going to get this word. H O T. What does H say? O says ah, and T says t. hot. Say it after me, hot. Remember, we're blending these sounds to make words. Hot. Now, the next three letters I want you to put together. The beginning song will be letter N. Find your letter N. That's going to be our beginning song. N. Place that on the table in front of you. Our next letter, middle letter, is going to be letter E. Find your letter E for me and place it in the middle. We have the beginning song, which is N. Then we have E. Our final, the ending song, is going to be with our letter for today. Do you remember? What letter is it for today? Letter T. Put your letter T at the end of that word. So we have the beginning song, which is letter N. Then the middle song, which is letter E. And then the ending song, which is letter T. Now, let's blend these words, these letters together with, with their songs. N says N. E says eh, and our letter for today says t. Very good. Let's blend it together. N, eh, t. N, eh, t. Net. Awesome. Net. Smart boys and girls. Then, one more word to go. Find your letter T for me. Beginning sound. Letter T. That's our beginning song. Our middle song will be E. Letter E. Find your letter E and put it in the middle. And finally, the last letter, put it next. Our last letter is letter N. Find your letter N and place it at the end. So we have T at the beginning, we have E in the middle, and we have N at the end of the word. Let's blend these sounds together to make a word. Can you help me? T, E, N. Let's say the song. What's the song for letter T? T. Letter E says eh. And our final letter n. T. Eh. N. Te. N. Ten. Awesome, boys and girls. Good job. So with those, we formed different words. Our first word that we formed was sat sat do you hear the t in it sat then we did hat hat awesome then we did hot hot after hot came net Net. And finally, we have 10. 10. So let's read it one more time. Sat. Hot. Hot. Net. 
and 10. Do you remember what this word is? It. Great. Let's move on to our next activity. Now, do you know, have you ever ridden in a taxi before? Great. I've ridden in a taxi. Today we're going to learn about a, a girl who was a taxi. Have you ever ridden in a taxi driven by a girl before? Great. Let's listen to the story, Tanya's Taxi. And let's listen to see if we hear the letter T sound in it. T says T. Tanya's Taxi. Tanya's parents wanted her to be a teacher, but Tanya always told them she wanted to be a taxi. A taxi driver. That was when she was 10 years old at, at a school in Tea Kettle. Now Tanya is 20 and grown up and she drives a Toyota taxi in Belize City. One day she was taking two tourists to the airport and she got a flat tire. The tourists thought they would be late but Tanya had learned what to do. She changed that flat tire in 10 minutes and the tourists gave her a big tip because they were in on time for their plane. I'm going to read it one more time and you listen to see if you hear any of the words that we learned today. Can you do that for me boys and girls? Okay, let's listen. Tanya's taxi. Tanya's parents wanted her to be a teacher, but Tanya always told them she wanted to be a taxi driver. Now Tanya is 20 and all grown up and she drives a Toyota taxi in Belize City. One day she was taking two tourists to the airport and she got a flat tire. The tourists thought they would be late but Tanya had learned what to do. She changed that flat tire in 10 minutes and the tourists gave her a big tip because they were on time for their plane. Words that started with T from the story. Tanya, teacher, tea kettle, Toyota, tourist, tire, 10, tip, and time. Those are some words that, were, that begin with letter T from the story. Now, let's review some words that we've learned. Do you remember the tricky words? The irregular words? We have talk, repeat after me, talk. Remember these words are irregular words because only some parts can be sounded out while the others we have to look at, look at and remember. Talk, talk. Our next word, the, the. Our next word, to, to. Do you hear our letter song for today? And our final word, today, today. Awesome. Let's review the words that we built today, that we blended and built using our word power. First word, do you remember? 
it. Awesome, boys and girls. Then we have, what's this one? Hot. Smart. Hot. Is letter T at the beginning, the middle, or the ending? The end letter. Hot. We have a next word coming up. Hot. Hot. Net. Net. Sat. Sat. Awesome. Ten. And which is it? Which is it at the beginning? The ending or the middle? Our letter for today? T. It's at the beginning of this word. Ten. Awesome, boys and girls. Well, I want to thank you for joining me today. I want to thank you for joining me today, boys and girls. You guys did an awesome job. Until next time, be safe. See you tomorrow.
Good morning, boys and girls. I'd like to welcome you all to the Let's Catch Up 2023 Summer Camp. My name is Elvin Zelaya, and I will be one of your math teachers for the next four weeks. So I know a lot of you come from different places all over Belize. Some of you from all the way down south in Toledo. Some of you from all the way up north in Corozal. I am speaking to you from the city of Belmopan here in the Cayo district. And I want you to relax. I want you to take your time, uh, sit down. And we're going to hopefully, well, I know we're going to have a very exciting learning experience today. Okay? So let's make it fun, relax, and um, so you know my name. Again, I said my name is Elvin Zelaya. I will be one of your math teachers for the remaining four weeks. I know that perhaps you have seen something like this. This is one of the math kits that was sent to the schools, to some of your schools, and um, so I want you to keep in mind that for most of our math sessions, we will be using this little kit, right? And um, I know your teachers in the classroom have informed you that you're going to be working in pairs, right? So you should be sitting next to a partner. And remember, you want to work as a team you want to be respectful to your teacher and to, and to everyone else. Remember, it's really important to be nice to everybody in the classroom. Okay, so just some ground uh, rules. And I hope that, again, we're going to have a good time today. Now, we're going to start off with a little activity. So, and this is how the activity will go. We're going to play a little game called Simon Says. Have you heard about Simon Says? Okay, and some of you might be familiar with it, right? When I say Simon Says, if I say Simon Says jump, then you, you should jump, you should repeat the action, okay? If I say Simon Says sit, then you should sit, okay? So let's practice it a bit. Simon Says stand. Very good. Simon says, sit. Excellent. Okay, so now we're going to get into the real activity. That was just a little practice. Now, on the count of three, I want everybody in the classroom to stand. So I'm going to count one, two, three. So everybody should be standing. And we, I need you to pay attention to what Simon says. And Simon says, we're going to start now, get ready. Simon says, all the girls move to the front of the classroom. And if you're watching from home, you might want to move to one of the corners of your, of your house or the room where you're at. So Simon says, move to the front of the classroom, all the girls. Okay, very good. Simon says, all the boys move to the back of the classroom. Okay, so let's do this quietly, as quietly as possible. Remember, you want to move fast too. Be careful. Watch your step. So now, we should have all the girls at the front of the class and all the boys at the back. Very good. So we're going to continue playing the Simon Says game. And let me change it a bit. Simon says, everybody with a blue shirt stays at the front or you move to the front. Everybody with a blue shirt, you move to the front of the classroom. Or if you're already there, you can stay there. Very good. Now, Simon says, everybody that has on tennis shoes, move to the back of the classroom. Everybody that has on tennis shoes, move to the back of the classroom. Okay? 
Very good. So this is just a little warm up that I want you to, I want to get you moving. Now let's, let's go ahead and um, listen to the last instruction. Simon says, everyone goes back to their seat and sits down quietly. Very good. Okay. So if you, if you notice at the beginning, what did Simon say? All the girls move to the front of the classroom and all the boys move to the back of the classroom. Now, what we are doing here is something that is really important in math. This is called sorting. We just sorted the class into two groups, a group of boys and a group of girls. Very good. So that is called sorting. And this is one of the key words for today. And I'm going to explain to you what does it mean to sort. Okay, so pay attention to the key word. What is the key word? Sort. What does it mean to sort? Now, um, we're going to, I'm going to explain to you what it means to sort items. And to sort items simply means that you're going to group objects or items that are similar and you're going to put them together. Just like what we did at the beginning of the session. We put all the boys in the front of the, all the girls, sorry, in the front of the classroom and then we took all the boys to the back of the classroom. So really what we did was put students that are alike in different places. So that is sorting and it's very important that you know how to sort in math. Very good. So to sort, you can sort in different ways. You can sort by putting uh, things that have similar shapes or the same color or the same size or they are the same type of object. You can group these depending on whether they are the same and if they are different then you should know that they cannot be grouped together. Okay? Because there will be items that are the same. In some way they are the same and there will be items that are totally different. That they don't have nothing in common. So those are also some key words. Common. What do the objects have in common? What do they have different? What do they have that makes them the same? Okay? Very good. So, I want you to think now where, think about some examples of where sorting is important. Where have you seen things being sorted out? Can you raise your hand and share with your teacher? Raise your hand and share with your teacher. Where have you seen examples of things being sorted? Raise your hand and share with your teacher. Very good. Excellent. So, those are some very good ideas or some very good examples of where sorting takes place. And I'd like to share a few with you. And you might have already shared, some of you might have already shared these examples, right? The first example I want to share is the example of the closet. In the closet, do you know what a closet is? That's where we put away our clothes, no? In the closet, there might be a section for your clothes or your brother or your sister's clothes. So that is sorting. We have separated the clothes. Or there might be a section that's only for towels and there, may, there might be a closet or an area in the closet that is only for socks. Okay? Another example is the example of the refrigerator. If you're at home, you can also run really fast to the refrigerator and check this. A lot of sorting takes place 
when um, when you look in the refrigerator you can see that there is a section there's a section mostly all the way at the bottom that is for all the fruits and all the vegetables right and there's a section where you have the water and you have uh, drinks there's an area where you put the eggs and there's an area where you put ice and meat and that type of thing so that's also sorting another place where you should pay attention to sorting is with garbage if we know about recycling it's very important to put garbage like plastics in one area paper in another area and so on okay so I shared three examples of where sorting is really important in life right so um, again what's the definition of sorting what does it mean to sort to put things together to group things together by looking at their what what they have that are the same if they're the same sh shape or the same size or the same type of item or object you can group them together so that is sorting okay now um, let's go back to our little kit because this is our tool for today this is what we're going to be using today our little kit has a lot of items in it right and the first thing you might have noticed is that what do you notice what do you notice about the colors exactly there are only two colors in this kit right there is there are the blue and the white um, items inside of this kit excellent you sh you, sh you should have noticed other things there are there are items that are not the same size okay there might be items that are not the same shape and so on right so some there the, some of these have different colors some of them have different sizes different shapes and so on now I want you to before we we continue working with this I want you to open the little kit open it just slide in one of these directions and then you put it on your table this little kit is for you and your partner to work together right so put it on your table empty it out on your table on your armchairs and um, I'm going to show you a very simple example of sorting objects now you might have noticed that in your kit you have tiles that look like this these what are these what do you know these as those are all shapes right they have different colors also if you notice they're all shapes this shape here is a triangle you guys are all familiar with a triangle this shape here is a square so I want you to take out all the shapes if you notice here we have a circle you're familiar with what a circle is it's a round closed shape with no edges or corners right and there are there there are also other types of shapes in that kit so what I want you to do is to find all the shapes find all the shapes in your kit whether they're blue or they are white and you put them together you can separate all the other tiles that won't don't have shapes in them and put them aside right so go ahead and do that remember what you are doing is just finding all the tiles finding all the tiles that have shapes in them okay put them out lay them out on your desk something like this on your table and we're going to be sorting so one thing you have done already if you have already found all the shapes these are 
examples of three of the shapes you can find. You can find a lot more shapes in that kit that we gave you. You have already started to sort. By getting and putting all the shapes together, you have already started to sort. Okay? So that was one step of the sorting. And now, if you have all those shapes together, we're going to do another, we're going to sort this one more time. And what we're going to do is we're going to sort by color. We're going to sort by color. Okay? So let's go ahead and do that. We have two colors. We have two colors of tiles in that kit. You should have this, something similar to this. You should have all your shapes together. Now we're going to sort them by color. What does that mean? It means that I'm going to find all the blue tiles and all the white tiles and I'm going to put them, separate them. I'm going to separate the blue tiles from the white tiles. Very good. So have you separated all the shapes? Have you found all the shapes? Excellent, boys and girls. So now we're going to move on to the next step, which is to sort these by color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the white tiles and I'm going to move them to the left. And I'm going to take all my blue tiles and I'm going to move them to the right. Okay, so you can do exactly what I'm doing. You can do exactly what I'm doing with your little kit, right? So if you notice, I have separated now my shape tiles into my white tiles and my blue tiles, right? Let me fix these so that you can see them more clear. So I have my blue tiles with shapes in them and I have my white tiles with shapes in them. Okay? I'll give you a minute to, to do that. There are more than these shapes in your kit. There are more of these shapes in your kit. And now, once you have separated all the blue and all the white tiles, I want you to now sort one more time. Remember the first time we sorted, we sorted, we looked for all the tiles that had shapes in them, right? The second thing we did was we separated the white tiles from the blue tiles, right? Now the third thing you're going to do, the third way you're going to sort this is you're going to sort by shape. What does that mean? Let me show you what it means. So we're going to put the two triangles together. We're going to find all the triangles, put them together. We're going to find all the squares and we put those together. And we're going to find all the circles and we put those together. So now we're finding all the matching shapes. You're going to match your shapes. And in your kit, you have different shapes apart from these three. You have other shapes that you can also match. So let's go ahead and do that. While I'm doing this, while I'm sorting out, I expect you guys to be doing exactly the same on your table, right? You should be following along with me. Notice now, the order of the color does not matter, but I have matching shapes. Two triangles, two squares, and then I put my circles together, and so on. Okay? Have you done that? Excellent. Now, <clears throat> we'll go back to our little kit. But let me give you a little time to do that, to match all your shapes together on your table. Put all of them together.
they're a little bit twisted but I yeah you guys can see them quite clearly now let's go back to the kit now there's a lot of items in this kit and uh, what you're going to do for me is that you're going to take the kit and you're going to sort you're going to find one one more way how you can sort the items in this kit you might have noticed that there are some blank tiles some blank tiles that are blue some are white and these tiles don't have a shape or anything in them right you might want to put these ones together right you might want to sort and find all your blank tiles all your blue tiles and your white tiles and put those together so I'm just showing you what else is in your kit and this is you guys should be doing this as I'm explaining you might have noticed also that there are some number tiles some of the tiles have numbers on them some are blue some are white so you might want to um, sort like by sorting out the number tiles it's up to you you decide I'm giving you the freedom to decide how you want to sort them do you want to sort the number tiles you might have noticed also that there are some triangular tiles some tiles that are triangles some are blue some are white you might want to sort all your triangles also right and then you will you might have also noticed that you have some symbols like these you're familiar with this sign this is a plus sign right very good excellent and this is a minus a takeaway sign right so you might want to find these signs and also sort by looking for the different types of items in that kit okay so you should have noticed there are different shapes what did you notice there are different shapes there are different types of tiles there are even some that look like this there are some little there are little strips that are longer right so there are different items there that we're going to be using as we go along so go ahead and sort that very good sort however you want you choose how you want to sort the items in the kit okay your teacher should be will walk around and check that you're you're sorting out the items you will decide you and your partner will decide how you want to sort them do you want to sort the number tiles and separate those by color do you want to sort the triangles and separate them by color it's up to you very good remember you need to work as a team very good boys and girls you can give yourselves a little pat on the shoulder for doing a nice job and if you're finished you can high five your partner or you can stand so that your teacher can walk around and check your work okay then you need to tell your teacher what you need to do is tell your teacher how you did the sorting all right okay now for our final activity i want you to or we're closing off the session i want you to um to stand up with your partner and i want you to do one thing you're going to tell your partner what it means to sort items tell your partner and this is called um, an activity where all you have to do is stand up and tell your partner what it means to sort items what you remember and just tell your partner you might want to whisper it in his or her ear and then you take turns so the first person can tell their partner what it means to sort and then we switch roles okay 
very good. So, you may all have a seat. You may all have a seat if you've already shared what it means to sort items. If you've already told someone around you what it means to sort items. Again, we're going to do, finally, we're going to do one quick little review. And this is called a popcorn review. And why it's called a popcorn review is because the first person that pops up will have the opportunity to answer this question. So your teacher will be very attentive and they will notice who is the first person to pop out of their chairs. Okay? Good. So the question is, what does it mean to sort things? What does it mean to sort things? Remember, you, can, you need to pop out of your chair. Your teacher will give you the permission to explain. Excellent, excellent. So, what it means to sort things again, just to recap, it means to put things that are the same in, or share the same characteristics together. Things that are similar in some way, okay? They might have the same shape, the same color, the same size, or they might be the same type of tile, right? Okay? So, very good. I want you to give me a thumbs up. If you learn a lot about sorting, and I want you to give me a thumbs, your thumb, put your thumb this way in the middle. If you're still a bit confused, and then I want you to give me a thumbs down if you feel that you still need to learn a little bit more about sorting. So go ahead and do that. Remember, this means you're okay. This means that you're still a bit confused. This means that you're, you still need some help with sorting. Go ahead and do that in your class. Your teacher is going to take a look, a walk around. And I want to say thank you guys for paying attention. This brings us to the end of the session. It was a very um, fun time for me and very nice experience being, sharing this experience with you guys. And thank you very much for participating. Remember, put everything in this kit back in the bag, all your items back in the bag, because we're going to be using them next session. Thanks once again for participating and I hope to see you soon.
Good morning, good morning, and how are you this morning? Good morning, good morning, and how are you this morning? Good morning, good morning, and how are you this morning? Good morning, good morning, and how are you this morning? Good morning, boys and girls. My name is Teacher Gabriel, and I'll be your teacher for this Let's Catch Up Summer Program 2023. Boys and girls, are you ready to learn? Great! Before we get started, I want you to put on your thinking caps, bring your listening ears, and quiet lips. Can you do that for me? Thinking caps, listening ears, and quiet lips. Now, we're going to be learning all about letters because letters teach us how to read. Our letter combination for today is CK, a combination of two letters with only one sound. CK says K. Can you say that with me, boys and girls? CK says K. All right, great. One more time. CK says K. Awesome. Now, we can read words by sounding them out. Let's look at a couple of words. Listen to how I read it, then you repeat after me. Can you do that, boys and girls? Awesome. Our first word for today is b back. Back. Do you hear that special sound we're learning about today? Our letter combination C K K back. Do you hear it? Awesome. Back. Our next word, look at it boys and girls. Listen to how I say it, then you, you say it after me. Lick, lick. Do you hear that special song in it? Lick. At the ending, you're right. Our next word, duck, duck. Listen to the special combination sound K at the end, CK, duck. Next word, deck, deck. Our special song is at what place in this word? The beginning, the middle, or the end? The end. Next word, lock. Lock. Say it, boys and girls. Lock. Very good. And our final word, block. Block. Do you hear that special sound? Block. Awesome. Now, I have a few tricky words. Let's now look at these tricky words. These words are also called irregular words because they cannot be directly sound out. You must look at it and remember. Look at it and remember. Can you do that for me, boys and girls? Let's look at these tricky words. The first word I have here is circle. Say it, circle. Remember, this is called an irregular word. They are irregular because they cannot be directly sounded out. You have to look at it and remember. Look and remember. Important. Our next word is name. Say the word after me. Name. Name. My name is Teacher Gabriel. Name. Our next word for today. Ball. Ball. And our final word. Six. Six. 
say it after me. Six. So here are our words for today. Say one more time. Once I say the word, you be my echo. Circle. Very good. Ball. Very good. Name. Very good. And six. Awesome. Now, teachers, I need your help for, your, for our next activity. I need you to kind of distribute the letters to students. Students, you will work with a partner. The letters needed are letter CK, our special song for today, C and K. We need letter B. We need letter L, letter I, letter D, letter U, letter E, O, and A. Can you help me with those teachers? Distribute to each group of students. Letter C, K, C and K, B, L, I, D, U, E, O, and A. Very good. So now I want you to find some letters for me. The first letters, boys and girls, is what I want you to pass me. All right, the letters I want you to find and put in front of you are letter A. So find this little card and put it in front of you. Letter A. Our next card I want you to look for is the special song for today. So I want you to find your C and your K. Find your C and your K and put them together and place them on the table in front of you. Find letter B for me. Letter B. Find your letter B now. All right. And then letter I. Find your letter I. Find your letter I. And finally, letter L. Find your letter L. Now place the rest of the cards beside, on the side of the table. The letters that we will be working with are letter A, our special song, CK, K, letter B, letter I, and letter L. All right. So now we're going to use our word power and we're going to blend some songs together to make words. Now, boys and girls, our first word we're going to form, I want you to find your letter L. Find your letter L and place it at the beginning. First letter is letter L. Then we look for our letter I. Letter I comes next. Now let's get both letters CK and place it at the end of the word. C and K. Remember that's a letter combination that says K. What song does it say? Awesome, you boys are smart. Boys and girls are smart. Now, let's sound out these letters. We start at the beginning, we move on to the middle, and then we go to the end. Letter L says, what sound does letter L make? L. L. Then I says, I. Le, 
And then our special song, CK, says... Let's say, let's put your finger under each letter as we say the song. Let's start at the beginning. Put your finger under each letter. L, A, K. L, A, K. Lick. Say the word. Lick. Awesome. That's our first try. Now it's your turn. So let's blend some more words. Our next word that we're going to blend, I want you to find your letter B. Find your letter B. That's going to be our beginning song. Followed by letter A, which is a vowel. A comes next. And then our special song, CK, goes at the end. CK says K. Remember, CK says K. So our first letter is letter B. What does B say? B, followed by the next letter, A, and then our final letter, K. What word is that? Back, back. Say it, boys and girls. Back. We're blending to make words. Next word. Let's find our letter D. Find your letter D. D. Find your letter D and place it at the front. The first letter in the word, D. Our next letter will be letter U. Letter U. Let's place that after letter D. And then our special song, CK, at the end. Our special song, if you look at the screen and you look in the orange box, that's the word we're working with. D. U and our special combination song, CK. CK says K. All right. So let's read the word in the orange box. D, A, K. D, A, K. Let's bring it together. Duck. Very good, boys and girls. Duck. That's your next word. Let's make another one. We're going to leave D there, and I want you to find your letter E and switch it with letter U. So now, if we look at the green box, we have our first letter, D, our second letter, E, and our special song combination, C and K, which says Let's sound them out, boys and girls. D, E, and what does C and K say? K, D, E, K, Dek, Dek. That's our word right there. Dek. You're using your word power, boys and girls, and I can hear the power in your voice when you read these words. Awesome. Next one, find your letter L. Find your letter L. L is going to be the first letter in our word. So find letter L followed by our middle letter, which will be letter O. Letter O. Find your letter O and place it after letter L. And then our special song, special combination song, letter C, K. Find your letter C, K and place it at the end of your word. Now, if you look at the screen in, at our pink box, we have letter L, letter O, and our special combination song, C, K, that says, 
Now, let's blend these sounds together. L says L, O says A, and our special song CK says K. L, A, K. L, A, K. What word is that? Lock. Very good. Very good, boys and girls. And our final word that we're going to make using our word power is letter B. Find your letter B, place it at the beginning. Find your letter L. L will come after B. Find your letter O. And find your special song for today, which is CK Combination. So put CK at the end. Let's sound out this word now, boys and girls. In our, at, if you look at our screen, it's the last word in the gray box. So let's sound it out. B, B and L will say B. B, A, K. Our special sound combination. Remember, C and K says K. You got it. B, A, what is it? B -a -k block. Very good, boys and girls. You boys and girls are so smart. Now, our next activity, we're going to be reading a story. And while I'm reading this story, I want you to listen for that special song that we're learning today. Our special letter combination C K. C K says K. What does C K says? K. All right, I'm going to place this right up here. And remember, when you're listening to the story, listen for that special sound. Can you do that, boys and girls? Awesome. So let's put on our thinking caps, turn on our listening ears and quiet lips. Let's listen to this story. All right, the name of the story is K. Let's listen to the story. A buck named Tuck. A buck named Tuck was walking through some thick brush. He was tough as a block of brick. Tuck was having a lot of luck finding snacks to lick on. After he picked for a while, Tuck made a quick movement and got his neck stuck smack dab in the brush. He had to be slick to get out. He gave a slow kick and got free. Teachers, can you pass out a copy of this story to the students in pairs? While I read, you look and you listen for the special song for today. What's our special song? K C K. So I'm going to read the story again, boys and girls, and I want you to find all the C K songs. Listen and you can circle it on your story. Thank you, teachers. So let me read the story again. Everybody has their story ready? I'm going to give you three, a few seconds to get that ready. All right. Let's start. A buck named Tuck was walking through some thick brush. He was tough as a block of brick. Tuck was having a lot of luck finding snacks to lick on. After he picked for a while, Tuck made a quick movement and got his neck stuck. Smack! Dab in the brush. He had to be slick to get out. 
he gave a slow kick and got free. Boys and girls, do you see some CK in that story? Circle all those CKs. And what does CK say? The CK says K. All right. Who remembers a word from the story that has that CK sound? Buck is one. Very smart. Do you see another one? Talk. Lick. There's many. Your job is to continue finding those CK in the story and circle those CK for me. Because CK says K. Very good, boys and girls. Let's review the words that we learned this morning with the CK song. Can you help me, boys and girls? Awesome. Remember, it's your word power you're using here. What's our first word? Do you remember this word? Lick. Lick. Awesome. Next word. Back. Back. Remember our special song? K. Back. What's this one? Duck. Duck. Very good. Next word. Deck. Deck. And this word here, lock. Lock. Very good. And our final word, block. Block. Remember, we can read words by sounding them out. Now, hey, we had a list of irregular words. Remember, Irregular words we need to look at and remember. Look at it and remember. These words are called irregular words because they cannot be directly sounded out. We have to look at it using our eyes and remember using our brains. These words for today were... Name, name. Remember, only some can be directly sounded out, while some we have to look at and remember. Name, name. Next word, repeat after me. Ball, ball. Very good, boys and girls. Our next word, Circle, circle, and our final word, six, six. Remember, these words are called tricky words or irregular words because we have to look at them and remember, not all the letters can be sounded out. So that's why it's very important for us to look at it and remember. Well, boys and girls, we have come to the end for today's lesson. I had fun. I hope you had fun too. And I can't wait to see you tomorrow again at our Let's Catch Up camp. Goodbye for now, boys and girls. Be safe.
Good morning, boys and girls. I'd like to welcome you all to the Let's Catch Up 2023 Summer Camp. My name is Elvin Zelaya, and I will be one of your math teachers for the next four weeks. So let's hope that this is an exciting experience for all of you. I know you guys are excited, and uh, I know you guys come from different places all over our beautiful country of Belize. Some of you might be all the way down south in the Toledo, Toledo district. Some of you all the way from Corozal. Some of you in the Cayo district. Some of you in the Belize district. And I'd like to welcome you guys again to our summer camp. So, you know my name. I'm going to repeat my name. My name is Elvin Zelaya. And I'm one of your, I'm going to be one of your math teachers. Now we're going to talk about this item here. You guys should have received something like this. If you're in one of the classrooms, your teacher um, would have provided you with one of these little kits. And uh, you would have observed that there's several items inside of this, right? There's a lot of little tiles and some strips and some other items in there, okay? We're going to be using this over the course of these four weeks. In these four weeks, we're going to be using these, the items in this kit. So as to get you guys to learn math in a fun way, moving things around and getting to use this, okay? So we're going to try to make it as exciting as possible for you all. Good, so this kit, you're going to use it together with a partner. Okay, so you should be sitting down with a partner and you're going to use this together. Remember, some of the rules, you need to be nice to each other, you need to work as a team, and you also need to be nice to your teacher. Another important thing is that you need to pay close attention so that when I instruct you or when I tell you to do as I am doing, that you do the same right on your desk using the little things that are in this kit. Okay? Excellent. So, we're going to start off with a simple little activity. Okay? Now, I'm going to give you instructions. So, the first thing I want you to do, we're going to play a game called Simon Says. Okay? You, I, I believe you have played this before, right? So the way it works is, Simon says, um, stretch your arms. You should all open your arms and stretch them. Simon says, clap. You should clap, right? So it's a very simple game. Let's practice it. We'll do one or two um, little practices. Simon says, stand up. Right? You should all stand up. Simon says, touch your hair. You should all touch your hair. Very good. So that was a good try. And now we're going to get into the lesson. Okay? Simon says, stand up. Right? Excellent. Simon says, and pay close attention. Simon says, move to the front of the class and line up. Simon says, move to the front of the class and line up. Make one line in the front of the class. Very good. Excellent. So remember, it's a line. It doesn't matter in what order you're in. Just make sure you line up at the front of the class. Very good, boys and girls. So we're still playing the Simon Says game. I need you to pay attention, pay keen attention. Simon says, line up in this order. Boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. Simon says, line up in this order. So you need to move around, right? And line up in this order. Boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. Good. Let's do this as fast as possible, as fast as we can. Get moving around. What is the order that you're going to line up in boy girl boy girl boy girl 
Very good. Good job, kids. Uh, keep it up. We're still playing the game. Simon says we're going to line up in another order, so be ready to move around. Simon says line up in this order. Boy, boy, girl, girl. Boy, boy, girl, girl. Is that clear? Simon says line up in the order. Boy, boy, girl, girl. So what does that mean? Two boys, then two girls, two boys, then two girls. Let's do this. Get moving around and have some fun while you're doing this, right? So line up in this order. Excellent. Good job, boys and girls. Now, the last instruction that from Simon. Simon says, everybody move back quietly to your chairs and you sit down. Very good. So this was an, a little activity to get you moving. And not only to get you moving, but you should have noticed that we did line up in a specific order. We did two tries, right? What was the first order? We lined up as in the order boy, girl, boy, girl, one boy, one girl, one boy, one girl. The second order in which you lined up was we had two boys followed by two girls, two boys and then two girls. Very good. So what you should have noticed or what I want to bring to your attention is that what you did by lining up in a specific order is that you formed a sequence. And that's one of the key words for today. Maybe the most important word of the day is the word sequence. Sequences are very important in math and they're also very common all around you. But what is a sequence? A sequence is simply a set of numbers, a set of shapes, objects that are in, a, in an order according to a rule. What was the rule when you lined up boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl? The rule was one boy and then one girl. One boy and then one girl. Okay? So you were, you were um, organized. You were put in an order according to a rule. So putting shapes or objects or things in a specific order according to a rule is sequencing. Okay? What's one of the key words for today? Sequencing. Excellent. So now you can, well, another of the key words is the word patterns, right? And we're going to talk about patterns and sequences and where you can observe these in life. Now, I want, you th I want you to think, along with your partner, I want you to tell your partner where you have seen patterns or sequences like the one I just explained. Tell your partner... Or raise your hand and tell your teacher where you have seen patterns or sequences like the ones we just did at the front of the class by lining up. Tell your, tell your teacher or tell your partner where have you seen patterns like this. And I'll give you a moment to do that and then I will share some examples of where you can find patterns, right? Patterns and sequences, which are really important in mathematics, right? Very good. So now that you have done that, I'll share with you some examples of where patterns exist. Patterns exist in nature, from everything, from trees to animals, and so on. So let's think about the zebra. A zebra has a patterns. It has the, the, the stripes on the zebra follow a sequence. What's the sequence? You have black, white, black, 
white, and so on. So zebras, the, the, the stripes on a zebra follow a specific pattern. So that's one example of how you can find patterns in nature. Or if you walk around your house, or maybe you might have on a shirt or a blouse that has a checkers pattern. Okay, that's also an example of a pattern. Or you have a checkers board that you play with, with your brothers and sisters or your friends. There's also a pattern there. Okay, your mom might have a tablecloth in the kitchen that has a pattern. Okay? And then sequences, patterns and sequences are really important because when we start counting, we count one, two, three, five. Is that correct? Am I counting correct? I'm not counting in the proper sequence. If we were to count one, two, three, five, then I'm counting out of sequence. Okay? I'm not following the proper pattern. So when, even in counting, you have learned to count in a sequence, right? Excellent. So, now that you know what a sequence is, some keywords, patterns, well, the main keyword is sequence, right? Another keyword is pattern. Another keyword is order, okay? Order, the way things are ordered. Another key word is what comes first, what comes next, okay? Okay, so those are some key words. Now I want to repeat. I'm just going to repeat the definition of the word sequencing, okay? It's when a set of numbers or objects or shapes are ordered according to a rule, okay? There always has to be a rule about how things are ordered. I have an example here on the board where if you notice, I'm just going to go back to the little kit. We're going to be using this. You can open it. You can open your kit, put your, your items, empty the items on your desk, and you will notice that there are different types of tiles in here. Okay? There are tiles that are, that have shapes on them. There are tiles that have shapes on them. You have tiles that have um, numbers on them, called number tiles. You have tiles that are blank, okay? So what I want you to do now is take some time, observe what's in the kit. Some of the tiles have numbers. Some of the tiles have images of shapes. Some of them have you might, you might be able to find, the first thing you might be able to find are these strips in the kit, okay? So, look through your kit, familiarize yourself with the kit. You might be able to see some shapes, some shapes like this, a triangle, right? And you might find them, you will find them, and if one of the first things you would have noticed is that some of the shapes, or all the shapes, they're either blue or white, okay? Very good. So we're going to do a simple little activity. I want you to pay attention. I want you to find your tiles. I want you to find your tiles that are empty tiles. Your tiles that are, find square tiles like this. Find your square tiles. Put them on one side, whether they're blue or white. And we're going to look at this pattern. If you notice, I have set up my square tiles in such a way that I have a blue tile followed by a white tile. Then I have a blue tile. And then I have a white tile. And if you look at this pattern, it's very easy to predict what the next style would be. What do you guys think the next style should be? Excellent. The next style should, or it has to be, a blue tile so that we complete the pattern. Okay? So we have a pattern sh being shown here. And the pattern is blue, white, blue, white, 
blue and then the other color that would continue would be a white tile okay so this is these papers have been arranged in a sequence according to a rule okay and the rule is one blue followed by one white another blue followed by another white okay very good now if we want to make this a bit more interesting we can and I want you to do as I am doing we can create another pattern by lining up lining these uh, squares in a different order okay so we have one blue tile followed by two white tiles I have another blue tile here and what would follow this what color tiles what tiles would I have next the next tiles that I would have would be we would have a blue tile sorry a white tile followed by a next white tile and this is a little pattern that is slightly different it is slightly different from the first one now we have we have a pattern here of one blue two whites one blue two whites okay there are other forms of patterns that we can make and we can switch things around and I want you to do the same I want you to do the same with me and you can just slide your tiles around just like what you see me doing here on the board so pay attention to this we have another pattern here right and we have alternating colors we have blue white blue and there's always this order of blue white this is what you call a decreasing pattern decreasing because we have three tiles then two then one if you notice we're going from largest to smallest right so three two one gives you a decreasing sequence we can even modify this a bit and make it what is called an increasing sequence look at how I'm moving things around I want you to take your time and do the same okay now this is an increasing sequence okay we have one two three at the beginning with the decreasing sequence we had three two one now the pattern is changing we have one two three now what I want you to do is I need you to take your time and I'll give you about two minutes to do so be creative create a pattern of your own create a pattern of your own create a pattern of your own okay take your tiles and create a pattern of your own any pattern whether it's linear or if you want to be creative and use the triangles you can create a pattern using your triangles okay you want to put them in a line like in the first example do you want to put them in a line or do you want to put them do you want to create an increasing or a decreasing pattern okay go ahead and do that with your partner you decide which tiles you want to use do you want to use the square tiles to create your pattern or do you want to use your triangular tiles it's optional we can do the same with this if we ch we just change the tiles from our squares to our triangles very good now earlier today I showed you that go ahead and take your time create your pattern and then 
you can share or show the pattern to your to your teacher all right that shouldn't take you too long go ahead and do that with your partner and then you'll show your teacher excellent now patterns can also they're called sequences they're referred to more as sequences when we're dealing with numbers you're are you familiar with these numbers this is these are the regular numbers that we use to count and this is an example of an increasing sequence one two three so what would be the next number that follows four we're going from smallest to largest so this is a sequence being shown an increasing sequence shown with number cards so you can take your number cards and you can organize your numbers like this okay this here is an example of what type of sequence. I need you to pay attention to it. Look at it. It starts off here at the left with five, four, three. And what do you think would be the next number? Would be two, right? Excellent. So this is a decreasing sequence. It's going from a large number, five, four, three, and if you've heard how a rocket blasts off, they usually use this. It's called a countdown, right? Five, four, three, two, one, right? Excellent. So you've seen an increasing and a decreasing sequence. Now, I have additional another example here and I want you to look at it what do you notice what do you observe these numbers here are being arranged in what order so it starts off here on the left with two four six and what do you think is the next number you're counting by twos, right? Two, four, six, and the next number would be eight, right? Excellent. This is also an increasing sequence. Now, my challenge to you is for you to look at this and try to predict what is the next number in this sequence. It's starting off here at the left with six, Six, four, and what would be the next number? Notice the numbers are getting smaller. What should be the next number? Can you raise your hand and tell your teacher what the next number is? Can you raise your hand? Tell your teacher what the next number is? Six, four. What type of pattern is this? Very good, this is a decreasing pattern. The numbers are getting smaller and smaller. So isn't this similar to the previous example? We had an increasing pattern, two, four, six. And the decreasing pattern would be what? So this is the, de the increasing pattern at the top, two, four, six. So this gives you a good idea of what the next number should be below, six, four two excellent so very good now i want you to we're going to do a quick little review of what we learned today i want you to stand it's called a popcorn review and what you're going to do is you're going to stand and tell your partner you can whisper it in your partner's ears or you can just tell them with a low volume so that we don't make too much noise. Tell them what is a sequence. Tell your partner what is a sequence. 
and perhaps you can share what types of sequences you learned about today. Right? Excellent. Give yourselves a pat on the shoulder for doing a good job. High five your partner. Remember, share with your partner. Don't be shy. Okay? Work with each other as a team. If your friend doesn't know what a sequence is, you can both come up with a with the meaning together. Okay? Remember, sequencing has to do with what? It has to do with what? Sequencing has to do with ordering numbers, shapes, or objects, or things according to a rule. Okay? Good. Now, we're going to do, again, the same popcorn activity, popcorn. And what this means is that the first person to pop up off your chair and stand up, we refer to it as, a, as popping up, right? And that's why it's called a popcorn activity. Now, the first person to stand will have the opportunity to answer a question. So when I said, when I asked the question, you can simply stand up and your teacher will, will choose the first person that stood up to answer that question. Okay? Good. Very good. So the first question is, what is a sequence? What is a sequence? What is a sequence? Remember, you need to pop up and your teacher will give you the permission to speak. Okay? What is a sequence? Excellent. The next question is, very good boys and girls. Thank you very much for participating. The next question is now, what types of sequences did we talk about today? We talked about two types of sequences. Can you share one? Very good. Remember, you must be the first person to pop off your chair to get the opportunity to answer. We spoke about two types of sequences. Excellent. Now, for your homework, I want you to find the next term in this sequence. Find the next value where you see the question mark. I want you to tell me what this number needs to be. Is it increasing? Is it decreasing? Those are the things you need to look at. 3, 6, and there should be another number here, right? I, that's your homework. That's what I want you to do for me. If you already know the answer, then it's, that's excellent. I'm really happy that a lot of you would be able to know the next term at the first glance. So now I want you to tell me how you feel about learning about sequences today. And I want you to show your teacher. If you feel that you know how to do sequences and you, you learn enough today, can you show a thumbs up? If you feel that you're still not too sure and it's kind of hard to predict the next term or to be able to identify what type of pattern it is, then you can leave your thumb in the middle. And if you feel that you need some more practice with sequences, then show a thumb down. Okay, so let's do this. If, if you feel you're good and you learned sequences today, show us a thumbs up. So raise your hand, give a thumbs up. Thumb in the middle means you're not too sure. Thumb down means you're still a bit lost and you would want some more practice. So I want to thank you guys for being here with me today. And I'm glad, I want to thank you for, for your participation and I hope that you enjoy your lunch and I'll see you guys here tomorrow.